in today's video, I'm going to be turning emojis into illustrations. But I'm doing it a little differently than last time. Last time I had you guys submit emoji combinations. And this time I'm having my sister Rebecca suggest some emojis. For the first emoji she gave me, she gave me a mushroom, a spoon, and this emoji peeking from behind their hands. When I first saw these emojis, I wasn't really sure what to do with them because I was very confused by this combination of what I could do with it. So I felt like I wanted to make a little like mushroom person, like a little like fairy pixie small person thing. <laughs> and I decided to have them be cooking so they could use the spoon. Cause this seemed like the best way to use the spoon is having the fairy cook. And for the peeking hand emoji, I thought it'd be kind of interesting if we had someone looking in at the girl. I did think about doing it so that we're inside the little pixie's house and you see like the girl's eyeball. But I thought it'd be more interesting if we were at the outside of her house and then we saw the girl looking in. I was originally gonna do like a different angle, like a three, three quarters view-ish angle or like a side view. I decided to have it be that we see the back of her head because I felt like that seemed more interesting. So I just have her putting her hand up to the window and like looking in at the girl. I imagine she was like, the little girl was like walking before us and came across a small person in their house. I'm not used to drawing people from the back. So like the, when we're looking at their back, I'm not used to drawing that. So it was kind of interesting to draw. I don't usually draw it. So that was kind of different. And the little mushroom person is just a little mushroom person. Kind of has just a mushroom on top of her head. Um, line art went fine. It was basically just usual line art, but I decided to use the G pen because I did a collab with my sister and I learned that like I didn't mind the variation that much. See, since I'm not used to the variation, I'm, I am going to need to learn how to like get good at line variation because I'm not very good at it yet because often I just manually add it. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna go back to just using the G pen just because my liner brush wasn't terrible, but it didn't have much for variation. It made it hard to do tapering lines. I like having those little lines because I find they add a lot or like push the idea of stuff even more. Um, for the lighting in this picture, I thought it'd be cool if I made it be like nighttime and her house is like kind of glowing. Like she has all her lights on in her house. And then it's like really dark, but we have like the bright light shining on the girl from the outside and also bright light shining on the girl on the inside. Which for the colors in this picture, I decided to mostly go with blues, reds, greens, and brown. I have the girl's shirt be like this light purplish color because I felt like it would work okay because like of the red and blue kind of make like a purplish color in a way. I didn't want it to be a color that draw too much attention to itself because the main focus in this picture is the small girl. That's the main focus. So everything is kind of making your attention go to this girl. So for the coloring, everything is basically just normal coloring. Um, one thing that was kind of interesting was actually drawing the small fairy girl. I'm not very used to drawing um, smaller characters. I don't often try to proportion them super small. So it was kind of interesting to do because I was trying to make her seem like all kind of short and stubby in a way. I feel like it's not like super obvious, but like it was interesting trying to do. I feel like it looks cute. The lighting was really fun to do because I really liked working with the dark lighting. It's not something I do a whole bunch. I haven't done a whole bunch of digital art in a while. So like anytime there's a video of me doing digital art, that was all the digital art I was doing because I was filling my sketchbook for a while and kept working on that and then like finished that. So now I'm back to drawing digital art, which is fun. I've been enjoying it. And this is like felt so good to do because like, I don't know, like just working with the lighting and stuff. I'm like, yes, colors, lighting, gradients. Like I could do this all traditionally, but like digital art's just, different in a way it's like kind of just like just hits different i guess <laughs> i debated for the inside for house just having it be just a bright light so we couldn't see inside or giving it furniture i decided to give it furniture i did ask a few people in my house what they thought like do you think i should do just a bright light or have there be furniture i was told that furniture seemed cool so i 
I decided to go with furniture and I'm glad I did and listened to the advice I was given because I feel like it looks really good and I really like how it looks. Then I added some final effects. I cropped the canvas and added on some grass blades to fill this empty space. And it also gives it a sense of like depth. And it looks really cool. And I also added on some gaussian blur just to make certain areas a little blurry so they're not as in focus. And here's the final picture. Um, I really like it. I love the fact that it feels like there could be a story to this. I love the fact that it makes me curious and want to know more. I really enjoy that in art, when you just have tons of questions. I like it. I feel like it turned out cute. Now let's go to the next picture. For the next set of emojis, I was given a nighttime city, headphones, and this one with glasses. So for this one, I did have quite a few ideas. Not as many as the first one, because the first one was very hard to think of something. Um, at first, I had him just lounging by a window, like inside a building. And then you can just see outside of his window and it's going to be nighttime with tons of buildings lighted up. And I thought about having him like stand in the town, but I did really like that and that seems really, really hard. So I went with my first idea and I wasn't really liking how this looked. I felt like he was looking odd and I was concerned about drawing the pose because I couldn't find a reference at all. And how I set it up just looked very, very odd. So I end up just scrapping this and I decided to just find a reference. I was like, I'll just figure out some sort of pose because that was the main concern. And I found this pose of a guy sitting. He's kind of like slouching forwards and I kind of liked how this pose looked. So I decided to draw this one. I did do that thing when you draw the head completely and then the body. I know this isn't the best thing to do, but my main concern was liking the face. And I felt like this pose wasn't too dynamic that I had to like worry a whole bunch about like the head being the right perspective. Like if this was a really, really dynamic pose, I would be worried, but it's not. He's just kind of sitting there. It's not like super dynamic. See, it's not, I'm not saying this pose is like super easy because like I did mess up with his leg. But I think that's mostly because when I was trying to follow the reference, the reference itself also looked weird. And I didn't know how to wean it in a way that made it look normal. So he ended up getting like this janky leg. It looks really bad, but I end up later. This is kind of like cheating in a way. So you know how when you're younger or beginning artists, so often they might draw like hands behind the their characters backs because they don't want to draw hands or like give them pom-poms i basically i did that but i placed an entire cat blocking his leg because i really 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 didn't want this leg to be seen because it looked bad and i didn't like it so i just decided to give it a cat i end up liking this decision that I made though in the way that it gave him something else to this picture and something for him to look at because before he was just looking at us but since there was a cat he was able to like look at the cat and not us and breaking the fourth wall which I quite like him looking at the cat because it makes it seem like he kind of likes the cat because I decided to have him smirk like the emoji wearing the glasses. I did have him just making a neutral face but I decided to make him smirk like the emoji and his outfit was inspired by an outfit I saw on Pinterest. It's not like the most unique outfit because I've seen like an outfit like this multiple times. He has like a t-shirt underneath like a sweater and some colored pants just because why not and then some sneakers. For my reference it didn't have um quite the right thing to do with his arms. In the reference he was holding like a ball and I thought it'd be cool if I had him hold his phone like that's what he was playing the music on and then I could also have the light shine on his face which would also look very cool and I just feel like it looks kind of cool in a way because then it adds like a light source there. I like how it looks. For the line art it went fine like I've already mentioned I am using the G pen so it felt a bit different still. I've also done a another picture with the g pen since then i did um this lily picture for christmas to make a little short for you guys 
Um, and I think I'm gonna keep using the G pen because I'm really liking how it looks. And like I've already mentioned, I like those thin lines I'm able to get. I'm liking using it again. Um, and like that lily picture that I mentioned earlier, um, I think I'm gonna change my speed paints to being shorts because I feel like the speed paints don't do the best when they're full length. I feel like it just seems boring because like seeing through all that time lapse is a lot. So I think I'm just gonna start doing my speed paints as shorts because it will be a lot better and then you guys can enjoy it just like sit there for like one minute and watch it all compared to like sit there for like four or five minutes i don't know so i'm gonna just switch those to shorts um i'm gonna talk about something really quick um i'm gonna try to get out a video next month for you who don't know um i try to post a video every month at least one video every month there might be two if i'm able to do two or like just for sure one video every month, but I'm gonna try my best to get a video out next month. And the reason I'm saying I'm gonna try my best is because um, I'm gonna be getting surgery done and I'm gonna be in pain, but I do have some time before that to work on a video. I'm gonna try to get a video done. If I don't get a video out, I'm really sorry. Um, the surgery is for my feet. Um, I have really, really flat feet and sometimes it causes me like knee pain or like feet pain and makes it more painful to do stuff like running and walking. So I'm gonna be getting a surgery to fix my flat feet and it, I'm not gonna go into the details of the surgery because it's pretty gruesome sounding, but like my feet just like, my foot I guess falls in a lot. My left one isn't bad. I don't think we're gonna do anything to that one. I think it's just the right foot we're doing something to. And here's a little sketch thing. If I had time to make a little sketch thing. um, My foot kind of falls in like this and it should be like this. So my foot is just like really flat and I, I don't know why my feet are so flat they're just kind of like that and I'm gonna get surgery to fix this because if not they're only gonna get worse and I'll have to get a surgery of more consequences so yeah I'll try my best to get a video out next month but sorry if I don't um and now I'll talk about the coloring the coloring went pretty fine um there's nothing really that was much different. It's mostly when I start doing the major lighting things that seems a bit different. Um, I just shaded his skin like normal. I did decide to give him a bit of freckles because I thought that would seem cute because I gave him the red hair. So I thought freckles would seem cute. Um, shading his hair was fun. It was just like shading hair usually. I did try to add more depth to it so i'm trying to get better with my shading and like adding contrast and stuff like that i'm trying to get better at it um so the shading went fine um i wasn't super worried about the shading being perfect because a lot of the shading for his body i am going to cover up because i am putting in that cat so i wasn't that worried about it even so now I find I'm caring less about being perfect with my shading and like I'm not as worried about it so I like I don't care as much if like just like plop it down and I don't care like that sounds like a bad thing but in a way I feel like it's a good thing that I don't care as much if it's dark like I'm not fearing putting shadows as much or highlights like I'm not as worried about it um so I feel like that's kind of a good thing. And the life of a phone was fun to do because it was just basically, I just made this giant shape of ad glow and just had it like pointing at his face. I feel like it looks so cool and I just really like it for some reason. Um, and the cat was fairly simple to make. It was just a silhouette of the cat, so it was pretty easy. Um, and the background was a little difficult, but that's because I already rotated him. I could have just drew the background just straight and then rotated it. It later I could have done that so like I rotated him a little too early I should have waited a while but instead I just rotated it I should have like waited a bit but I did it but it still looks fine so it still looks cool so it's not bad um and something that was kind of funny is that for the background he was originally gonna be inside but then I made him be on the roof because it didn't look much different and I didn't really want to put the glass there and or like put like things indicating that he's inside a house so I just put on like on top of a roof which I feel like looks kind of cool in a way I really like how this picture turned out I feel like it turned out very cool um I haven't really done a picture like this before and I quite like it I quite like how both the pictures turned out I feel like they both seem pretty cool and I really like them I hope you guys like them too and that's all for this video I hope you guys have a happy new year and a good rest of your day bye